And here we go. The EWW champion Tomer takes on his meets up in the middle with the Indianapolis Atlas Matt Beck. Obviously, he's the Indianapolis uh, Wrestling Federation champion. Went back to his home state. Became well, f went back to his strongman roots. He's incredibly talented, but that's not going to discount his opponent, the EWW champion Tomer, known for well, EWW is known for extreme hardcore style matches just because they're prone to hitting you with a baseball bat does not mean that you should discount his technical ability that is one of his specialties he's a little bit older than Beck obviously Beck's kind of still young Tomer's got a lot more experience on him but the question is can his extreme style transfer over to King of Call where we don't allow stop signs to the face Big spear in the corner. Back laying in a couple shots. Nothing too damaging just yet. Working his way around. Goes low on Tomer. One would expect he's got some bad knees after all the extreme battles he's been through. Massive uppercut. Goes into the corner. Whips him into the corner with a releasing German suplex. Fantastic maneuver there. Tomer counters through though. And a T bone suplex. T bone exploder suplex. Very impressive there from Tomer. Matt Back seems to be looking to work him over in the corner. Primarily a midsection attack. Countered with a knee. And throws him into the corner. Going to the midsection himself. Throws him out in short clothesline. Like a lot of back looks rattled. He's going to counter through though. Going to push on. Takes another knee to the face. Tomer's got this well scouted now with a big spear in the corner of his own. I think those knees to the head have affected Matt Back a lot more than one would expect. It's another short clothesline, and Back is all over the head. Whoops, one of the ropes pulls him back, and big throw there. Tomer, elbows to the to the upper shoulders, trying to work, trying to weaken the arms of the strong man. Flips him over, and Beck's going to counter through on that. Arm drag. Hip toss. Hip toss. Another short clothesline and back is holding his head. Speaking of injuries to the head, or injured heads, just repeated punches to the face. Showing his extreme roots. Which is with another, another turnaround throw there. Beck's fighting through, but he may have a concussion. Tomer counters that punch, goes behind, turns him around. Throws him into the far corner. Drop kick to the back and the back of the head. Tomer's going for that arm ringer submission thing. He's yanking on it. The back a little too strong to just get held there. Punches against the ropes. Back counters through. Elbow to the arm. Then it drops him on his head. While devastating, one has to wonder if Tomer's works and says, What is this? Hurricane Rana. Fantastic maneuver there from Tomer. He's going to go for the pin. One. No, Beck kicks out. And Tomer's got him up with the Tomer driver. Beck's bleeding. After all those shots to the head, Beck has got to be just about done. Floats him over and jumping punch to the face. Beck is holding his head. He's bleeding all over the place. And now Tomer's going for a dragon sleeper. Beck looks to be in bad shape. Can he get out of this? Tomer's yanking on it. 
and the EWW champion pulls it out. Spectacular job there by Tama. Early onslaught by Matt Beck, the IWF wrestler, Indianapolis Wrestling Federation champion. But Tama was able to, able to survive it with a couple knees to the head and a very, very head-based attack. And Matt Beck was rattled from shortly after his own onslaught in the beginning. For week three, well, this has been week three. I'm your commentator, Phoenix. Hope you've enjoyed week three and the previous weeks. If this is the future, thank you for watching this older one. Be sure to tune into the new stuff. Uh, next week, we'll have week four, obviously. Uh, thanks for watching.